Good evening. Here are the headlines to expect in tomorrow's news being the 13th of April 2024. This is tomorrow's news today. We start with national news. Governor Yusuf accuses opposition of securing release of detained thugs and vows to end criminality in Kanu State. Regarding Ondo 2024, the All Progressives Congress APC Screening Committee clears Ayedatiwa and others. Kingmakers nominate Ola Kunlein as next Ulubadon. Donor agencies are returning to Benue State due to Aliyah's anti-corruption stance, says Aid. On the issue of the abuse of office, Lagos Court grants Emefiele 50 million Naira bail. Falling container kills woman in Lagos State, car driver survives unhurt. Concerning Okwama killings, troops arrest three community leaders and recover high-grade weapons. Gunmen abduct Channel's television reporter in Rivers and demand 30 million Naira ransom. Nigeria ranks fifth in Global Cybercrime Index. A Nigerian and his wife have been arrested for drug trafficking in India. Police recover three more bodies in Anambra State boat mishap. And we move over to business news where Naira breaks key resistance against dollar within 1,000 Naira per dollar mark. Adelabu says a new electricity tariff may drop if Naira rebounds further. In entertainment news, I am a man, my lord. Bob Risky tells judge in court before six-month prison sentence. In international news, Russian military instructors arrive in Niger Republic to train army. The World Food Program, WFP, says the number of food insecure people in West and Central Africa increased by 400% in five years. And finally, in sport news, the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, reappoints Manu Garba as Golden Eaglet's head coach. Pochettino says it's not fair to judge Chelsea due to injury problems. To get more stories and details, visit our website at guardian.ng or get a copy of our newspaper from a newsstand closest to you. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Guardian Nigeria. I am Foluke Adirogba and this is Guardian TV.